So as you saw from thumbnail of this video tutorial, uh, we're going to make a really easy, quick, and simple uh, three different tablecloths. Uh, so these are materials we need. Uh, so first, since we're going to make three different clocks, we're gonna need uh, clock movement. Uh, you can buy this from Amazon uh, or any art supply stores, even Walmart. Uh, what Michaels so there are a lot of different sources um, It doesn't have to be a really good uh, Pricey one. So this is the cheapest one I got Okay, so I got these three Also, I prepared the three boards uh, for the table base and then the face as you can see that um, let me View this way um, The clock face will have uh, kind of five and a five inch by five inch uh, dimension and then I made some kind of a slit like a kind of I cut this foam core but I didn't cut through it completely so I just cut kind of a half so as you can see that you can see the, um, uh, the cut here but on the back there's no cut so what's gonna do it all we're gonna do is we're going to snap it like this way and like this okay and then we're going to have the clock face on this front uh, surface and then we're going to tape this uh, back here okay so I prepared three of this and then we're gonna need to have uh, exacto knife ruler pencil and then a uh, uh, bone folder doesn't have to be this but anything um, kind of flat and then um, glue stick okay so let's get started so for the first one I prepared this so this is kind of a decoration the paper uh, for the clock face in here and then uh, I bought this paper from Walmart uh, at Walmart so this is really kind of an inexpensive material and then also um, I cut a cereal box to the size of a five and a quarter and five and a quarter so this is a slightly bigger than clock face okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this on this side and then glue on the back of this paper and I'm gonna apply this onto this clock face up here. Okay, so let me do this. Okay, so our first one is done. This is the first clock face. And I used this, the, um, the bone folder, but um, if you do not have this bone folder, like uh, you may use something different, like a credit card or the, uh, your IDs or anything's fine. Okay, just like this. Okay, so let me do the second one. Uh, for the second one, um, this is a calendar uh, from last year, 2019. No, actually still this year. Um, and I got this from my son's because he's got a new one. Uh, I'm gonna use maybe, um, maybe this. Okay, so um, my second one is done. So I have now um, two clock faces 
like this. And then another one is um, another one I prepare is a floppy disk. Okay, no one uses now. This one is the other five and a quarter inch floppy disk. Old schools. Uh, I have nothing to do with this, so I'm gonna. I decide to use this for my the clock face. Okay, so let's do this now. Okay, so as I showed you at the very beginning, uh, I'm gonna apply this clock face into this middle piece. So before I do that, I'm going to snap it like a chocolate, and then with the glue stick. Let me apply this glue on this surface. So this surface is slightly smaller than actual uh, the paper, the decoration paper I'm going to use for the clock face. Okay. So glue entirely, especially on the edges, so it stays. Okay. Once you glued entirely on this center piece place your uh, decoration paper face down and then put this on the center on this decoration paper it's really simple so let me make sure it is centered I'm going to use my bone folder again to glue on this foam core from me. Okay, so this one is done. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to mark in the center so I can make a hole. I can punch the hole for the part, the clock part. One diagonal line in the center here, and another one goes right here. Oh. So this is center here. Let me erase this. Okay. So can you see it? Like this. Okay, so I will repeat the same steps for my Super Mario one. My second one is done. I'm gonna put some um, weight on it. And let me wait uh, for drying. Okay. And uh, while those two, the first two clocks are drying, uh, I'm gonna do my the last one using this floppy disk. Um, but on this floppy disk has a hole already in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to snap it first, like I did. And I'm going to make a mark on the center. center and I'm going to punch the hole first and then I'm gonna glue this on this okay okay so for the hole I'm using uh, this paper punch you see it? it has a hole okay so I'm going to hammer and this on this uh, the center so um, if you have this paper punch, that would be good. If you do not have it, uh, you can use the owl or any other materials. So you can make a hole in the middle. Okay, so I'll do that. Okay, so uh, I'm done with all these three. Uh, three different clock faces. And the last one with the other floppy disk. Uh, for this floppy disk one, I didn't use the glue stick. I used a spray glue. Uh, that's easier and works better for this one. Okay, so now let's assemble uh, from the very first clock. Okay, 
So you will have to deassemble your clock movement. It depends on the, uh, what you purchase, but um, it's pretty much the same structure. And then what may happen is you're going to have your clock part from behind and just push through like this. Okay, and then my paper punch is a little bit smaller than this part. Um, so um, you see that? The paper, the uh, front cover, uh, the clock face, it covers in my metal part. So uh, with the exacto knife, just cut this portion so we can see the metal piece. So I will do that. Okay, so you see that uh, there's gonna matter part it's above the surface, so we can fasten. Okay, so once that is done, this ring goes first, and the nut goes to next. So it covers uh, any kind of a uh, uh, clean cut thing. And then uh, our hand goes first. Push down. And then minute hand. And this little fastener goes top. second hand and set the time to a noon or midnight 12 o'clock okay and then this is the um, AA battery let me put see if it works yay it's working okay now it's about 150. So, one, maybe 50 somewhere here. Okay. And then the last step is, you just need to link this two end so it stays, it stands on the um, table. Okay. So I'm going to cut my um, painting tape a little bit shorter than the width of this cloth. And then tape just a half, just like this. And then, let me show you this way. It goes like this. Push it down. Okay, so this is done. So with the same way, I'm going to repeat the same steps for the other two. Okay, so um, these three uh, table clocks are all done. So one with the, um, um, some decoration paper, one from the uh, my um, the, the past calendar. And one with this useless floppy disk. It's a super easy, quick, and simple uh, table clock making. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you next time.